Hello YouTube, welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the basic structure and format of uh, this little app that I have built or rather put together. It's not really a huge app. So basically what we're going to want this uh, little application to do is first of all we want it to get the user's name. Then we want to select a movie. And finally, or not funny but we wanted to um, select how many seats and then finally we wanted to print all of that out on the screen so now all we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a scanner and if you're not familiar with what a scanner is basically this is how the user would input um, text onto the screen so it's really simple just go scanner and then name your scanner I'm creating an object called scan um, and whatever I type in on screen it's gonna store it in a variable so let's just say scanner scan equals new scanner and then system dot in basically what that says is um, whatever they put in is we can access whatever they put into this uh, program by using that scan method over there so just go ahead and import the scanner um, just click on it and it should uh, give it to you and then as you see here it imports the java.util.scanner so just to show you quickly how it works I'm just going to create a main method and here I'm going to go size so um, I am going to say please input name Okay, I'm gonna go string name equals scan dot next line. Okay, and then I'm going to go SISO um, and I'm gonna print out name. Now string's giving me an error because it's not a capital S, and scan is giving me an error because that is not static in front of it. Um, because it's in a static method, it needs to be it needs to have an access modifier of being static. So if I just go ahead and run the program quickly, it's going to say, please input name, Josh, and it prints out Josh. So that's a quick way of how um, that method works. Uh, and now what I'm going to be doing is going through these uh, three methods that I want to create. Um, first one, just go public, public, static, void, get name. Um, Okay, and then I'm just going to go and copy that for, I don't really feel like typing everything out. So, okay, just paste it down, and three, paste it down. Okay. So, I'm just going to go ahead and tab everything in. So, basically, I want this get name to rather be get movie and get seats. Okay. So now what I want to do in the get name is I want to print out um, a instruction for the user. So I'm going to say please input your name. Okay. And then what we're going to be doing in there is they're going to be putting their name in. Then for here what I'm going to want to be doing is I'm going to want to say um, please select a movie. Okay, and then what I want to do here is I'm going to say, um, please choose how many seats you would like. So now we have a basic structure of how everything is going to be put together. But if I start the program, nothing is going to happen. If you see here, I'm going to just click run, um, and nothing's going to happen. It give, it's giving me an error here. Okay, so basically that's because there is no main method so I need to create a main method and basically what a main method is it's this is the heart of the program so when a Java program is being run the computer looks for this main method before it runs anything so even if I have the main method it's still not going to do anything okay so I click run and it's not doing anything because there's nothing in my main method now if I want to run something I'm gonna say get name like that so I'm calling this method right over there and now all it's gonna do is it's gonna say please input your name so I'm gonna click run 
and you're going to see it's going to say please input your name but now I can't type in and that's because we haven't used a scan inside of there and I'll go through that in the next tutorial so now I just want to explain quickly why I've done it in this format where I've said get name then get movie then get seats let's rather make that seats um, and why I have put the main method right at the bottom if it runs the program what Java does is it runs from the top all the way through to the bottom and if you have everything up here first, so if it works out this name thing first, then the get method thing first, um, or get movie rather, so it works all of that out first. When it comes up to the main method, it has everything worked out, so it's a lot faster for the user. So that is the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will be going through um, every, all the other variables that will be in this program. Um, and then finally after that, we can actually get, well, we can hopefully get through it. So yeah, thank you very much.